Welcome to this tutorial of Biofilm Q. I'm Miriam and I will explain you how to crop your images. By cropping the images, we will define our region of interest. Maybe in your images there are several biofilms, but you only want to analyze one specific biofilm and exclude everything else from analysis. The cropping will also speed up the whole process of segmentation as the file sizes will be decreased. If you have a long time series and there's a lot of movement between the individual images, I would recommend to correct this before you apply the cropping by using the image registration. How you can register your images is explained in a separate video. So if you have registered your images before, you can now click on Apply Registration. If you want to do cell tracking or create video files in the end, you have to apply a reference cropping now. The reference cropping will put all the cubes into the same coordinate system so that you can later on track your cells. By clicking on this button select, a window opens where you can now select your reference frame. So by creating this reference frame, we have now put all our cubes into the same coordinate system. Inside this reference frame, you can now select your region of interest. We again click on select and you can select the biofilm you're interested in. So you can now click on apply to all images. Then this frame will be applied to your whole image series. Or if you have a growing biofilm, like in our example, you can also interpolate the crop rectangles. That means that the frame will be adjusted to the biofilm size. I will show you how that works. First, we have to delete our values again. We just delete the values and click on Apply to all images. Now you can put, click on Select again. Select the biofilm in your first image and select the biofilm in your last image. And if you click now on interpolate crop rectangles, you can see that the cropping frame has been automatically interpolated and adjusted to your biofilm size. There is also an option to apply set cropping. This is very useful if your biofilms were smaller in height than you expected and you therefore image too high into the set direction. In such a case, you can easily crop your images by entering the maximal height in micrometers. In further videos, you can also learn about all the other segmentation parameters.